Walking along a busy road like this is probably the last place I would expect to see a new fish species and some interesting animal behavior. Uh, but as I was going over this bridge, I looked into the water and I saw these light circles um, on the bottom of the canal. Now I knew there were some native fish that did this like bass and bluegill, uh, but the fish I was seeing were very large and silvery and I, I just thought they were something different. So I posted some photos online and the people pointed me in the direction of what I was looking at here. It turns out this fish is called blue tilapia, which is actually an introduced species originally from the Middle East and North Africa. Now those white depressions I was seeing are part of some pretty wacky mating behavior. They're made by the male, and so the male uh, will scrape away the vegetation and make this depression with his fins and his mouth. And the goal is to attract a female. And if he's successful in that, a female will come over and lay eggs in the nest, and then the male will fertilize them. So pretty normal so far, uh, but then it starts getting kind of wacky. Instead of just leaving the eggs in the nest, the female scoops the eggs up into her mouth. Now the eggs remain in her mouth until they hatch. Then the fish continue to live in there and uh, she'll open up her mouth and they'll go out and feed. And if there's any sign of danger, the fish uh, swim right back into her mouth for safety. Now they'll continue this way for about three weeks until they're about a centimeter long and then they'll go on swim off, live the rest of their lives. I'm really glad I stopped to take a closer look at these fish. Uh, it would have been very easy to never learn about this really fascinating behavior that was right behind my apartment. Uh, but I also think it highlights some interesting interactions between people and wildlife. Um, so they're nesting right here in the water that's right below this bustling road. So there's this sort of human behavior and animal behavior happening right next to each other. Uh, but also that these fish are only here because humans brought them here. And so I think both of those things kind of highlight the intertwined nature between human biology and the biology of all the other animals we share this planet with. <laughs>